Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. Last time we managed that we switch into into access point mode. If we not connect, cannot connect to Wi-Fi, we switch to access point mode and provide a web interface. And I said, okay, I want to provide more websites, so I, I was not lucky with my simple solution that it's okay if you want only want to provide one web page, but if you want to provide more, there would be a better solution. I found one better solution. It's called ESP Async Web Server. And I want to rebuild my functionality with this ESP Async Web Server. So I've installed the library, library ESP Async Web Server, and we should find it somewhere. Hopefully. ESP Async Web Server. We will use this one. Whoosh. What I know, we don't need this. I don't know why this is all, every time included. Of course, we will do it down here. And we also have to include this uh, async uh, Async TCP. It's a dependency of this ESP Async TCP. Yeah. This is the library which is used by the ESP Async Web Server. We cannot see this ESP Async Web Server anywhere. Use it here. Use it here. All right. However, we I am now going to define uh, this. Where is the this, these two things? I no longer need. Yeah? I no longer need. So get rid of those. Yeah. And instead of this, I am uh, async a web server. It's called. And I will call my thing web server. And we are still looking at port number eighty because it's an HTTP web server. Now I have several errors somewhere inside. Yeah. Uh, to bring this to a little bit more you know, HTTP server begin and so on, this is no longer this is no longer working. So I have somehow to add a function which I'm calling. Yeah. I will add this this function here and I will call this function uh, start web server. This is a, the basic function I want to call if the web server is, is started. So those things, HTTP server begin, I will delete and I will simply call uh, start web server. Okay. Start web server. And also here is an error. I will also call start web server. Start web server. What I have to do in this web server? Yeah, we are already error free, so I will connect, close this, connect Wi Fi. What we have to do in this web server? Yeah. Web server. That's our variable. That's our web server we installed. Yeah. And we say on. Yeah. We say what shall happen in case of. And in case of, a web page is uh, is uh, requested, yeah. So we have an HTTP GET request at web server slash, yeah. So no no additional site there, yeah. Then we call a function web page main. Okay. I have to define this function here. I must define a web page main function. And inside this web page main, main we have async, async web server request. A pointer to the, so I request the so-called request structure. You see? This means if we want, if somebody is calling our web server and is requesting, is getting our web page, yeah? Then we call slash. 
we, we call this web page main. Yeah? And inside the web page main, uh, I will actually I will do pretty much the same as I've done here. Here. I print out the web page. That's good. But before I will also if there is information info serial print line I will write HTTP client connected HTTP client connected as information output and then we had this I no longer need. This I no longer need. Uh, and in the end, how how to put it out? I will also write the serial print. Web page will be sent and print out the the web page, which is here uh, and we are sending request send I no longer need this status code because I just say okay 200 200 is okay and then the content the contact content HTML and then the string I want to send and this is HTML web page so I already sent this but sending was not enough. So I can actually... Sending was not enough because there was the, all the stuff with the, with the arguments and so on, yeah? which we parsed before. How do we access your arguments? Well, let's access the arguments. And this is now rather easy. If request... And uh, we are asking has params, has param, and the argument was bright. This means inside the request there was an, a, a parameter called bright. Okay, this is our bright set point. Yeah. Then the argument value is request get param bright. And we get the value of this bar. This is the argument value. I have already accessed the argument value. Yeah? And then I will uh, say if this one serial dot print uh, found argument bright with value serial dot print. Uh, arg value oh, that's it or should I first I will do it like this bright set point equals arg value to int and I will not call the arg value here some bright set point this is good this is good. And actually this is replacing already this is already replacing all the stuff here. So that's that's it for the web page. Yeah. All those stuff here, status byte, client and so on. Yeah, else HTTP client, actual line. I can get rid of. Delete. And here we have to call web server end. And here we also have to call web server end. Okay. This I no longer need. Where is this? Status HTTP started I need, but this one I no longer need. And there were also some 
client request actual line. I think I also don't need them. All the stuff. Ooh, what's here? Ah, the arc value. Okay, the arc value I need. But actually, I can cope with this down here. Right. I can get rid of this stuff. Now it should work as before. Ah, we have not called the begin. Web server dot begin. That's it. And to extend a little bit the configuration, web server dot on not found. So if something is requested. Web page not found. If something is requested, a web page is requested and we not find, we have to return, call it void, web page not found. Actually, it's the same parameters here. And here we are returning a request send and not found is 404 plain text page not found so we already extended our 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 web service if we request something we will not we will not display it actually this should already be it yeah so let's upload this to our controller See if we are still, if this is still responding or not. You see, it's much easier now. It's easier now because if I have another web page, I will simply add another web server on statement and all right. Then I will not display the main web page, I will display another web page, another web page, another web page, and so on. So I can extend this now. It's more scalable simply. And I don't have to parse parameters and stuff. And this is all already included. It's easier. Okay. We have uploaded. We are trying to connect to the test SSID. I will also change this because this is no longer needed. I guess that I clean this out here in setup. I don't have to clear this, clear this bit. Okay. We are now connected. We have created the access point. So actually here in Windows, I should find Studio Light. Yes, I find it. Connect. Let's see if this is now working better somehow. I'm not sure why this connected client one. It printed on the, you cannot read it, but here on, on it's, it's written, printed connected client one. Are we connected? No internet. Yes, we are connected. Okay, we are connected. So actually, I should be able to connect now to the 192.168.4.1 And it's working. Brightness set point. Let's power this up. Okay, 2600. Scroll down. Working and much better than my implementation. <laughs> All right. All right. Found arguments bright with value HTTP client connected. Yes, the spring client I have already done. 
And if I'm starting the debug, start debug2, then I should even see debug output here. Yes. Alhanzo's web page. Good. Okay. Alright. Now it's working great. Uh, now we successfully, successfully upload it once again. Now we successfully managed to to switch this to a more stable version of the to a more professional version, let's call it, of the of our web server. So we are now offering an an access point. Now we should offer a web page where we can. Okay, the web page is available where we can adjust the brightness, but I want to also provide a web page where we can adjust, uh, you know, configuration mode. So that we can say, okay, we want to connect this to this and that Wi-Fi network. This would be fine. This would be fine. So actually, in next video, uh, we will provide this web page for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.